There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas. Taking What's up, divas and divos? It's your girl, April. So this is about to be a really late video. I never do videos at 10, 15 at night, but I figured, you know what? I was on a roll. I had finished editing like several videos today and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? We're going to do this video because um, I don't have to worry about like no natural sunlight screwing me over. So with that being said, I didn't really do like no tutorial on how to make this because I already did show you guys like last week of how to make a lace frontal or how to apply the lace frontal, how I lay it down or whatever. But I will give you a future full tutorial video. This one is by Fab Wigs and they did send me a frontal and three bundles of their Brazilian straight hair. Two 16s, a 14 and a 14 inch frontal. So I just showed it on a mesh, I'm not a mesh, excuse me, on a spandex dome cap and I did put three combs two in the front temple and um one in the back of the nape and i did use the elastic from the cap just to make it sit a little bit tighter so i went ahead and i did tweeze the hairline somewhat i did and i just let it air dry after i washed it i put it on a mannequin hair so of course i'm going to curl it a little bit i didn't even put no part in it i just kind of like flung it back while the dry to just see how it was going to look I do have the things that i like to use the most which is for one the gorilla snot gel because this is my favorite even though i have do have got to be. Um, I just use this. I have one of my other new favorite products, which is the Got To Be Mind Blowing Iconic Power Styling Spray. This stuff is bomb.com. If you have never tried this, then definitely try this to spray your hair with. And then I also have one of my favorites in the whole world, which you guys know this has been around for a couple years. And this is the Aussie Instant Freeze Aerosol Can Hairspray. Like, you cannot leave home without it. And a brush, some clips, because, you know, I got to clip my hair up. And my mat. Fix Plus and color number NC42 to put inside of this wig cap or this wig just to see how it fits. So let's get on to this tutorial. Um One of my facial wipes so that I could take off any excess makeup because you know I'm gonna have to gel stuff down. All right, love, so let's get going with this video. I'm gonna head and wipe some of that makeup off of my forehead because I am going to, you know, gel this wig down. Not so tight, but just somewhat. So as you guys see, I did cut some of the hairline on it and I'm just gonna cut a little bit more of the lace because the hair is a little bit further back. So I'm just gonna trim away at the lace um, a little bit more. And I did tweeze a lot of this um, frontal because it was very dense in the front it was thick and it did say uh, in the description or the link that it was pre-plucked but to me it looked a little bit too rounded or too squared and very thick so I did tweeze it and it was a lot of hair that I did remove now I don't like the baby hair so much too long so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the hairs and I'm they're probably still a little bit too long so I did go back in and cut them a little bit more but this like doing baby hairs is like witchery I think like you have to have the right method and just like the right type of tools and just the right method in general so it's like a trial and everything with this for me so I did go ahead and just like you know cut a little bit here and there because you just really don't need a lot of baby hairs you could just use a little bit in the front and that little bit could go a long way trust and believe so the amount that I cut here I'm not even going to use them all so the first thing I'm going to use is just spray the hair down a little bit just to wet it up because I'm not really trying to use too much gel and you see they are a little bit too long so I had to kind of like play around with them a lot just to get them right and then I realized after a while that you really don't want them pasted down especially when it comes to the wig because you just want them to kind of like paste down at the lace part and kind of like flow freely I don't know it's just a trial and error type thing but hey I'll get it sooner or later so I did use my favorite wand system as you guys see me use in all of my tutorials which I have been lately doing a lot of on video curling my hair which I normally don't do but you know what we just want to make it fun I'm just trying to show you guys what I do so I just hold on to this probably count like 15 seconds and let it go and like I said the hair is nice it does curl really well and that's one thing that I like about it um it is the straight hair and you do see some bump and wave into it so it's not super sleek straight and I like to curl it like that like so I'll just let it air dry my mannequin head and once it's air dried that's when I'll curl it I don't make it any straighter meaning I don't flat iron it because if I flat iron it to make it sleek straight then it takes a longer and it's a lot harder to curl so I just like to curl it with a little bit of bump in it but as you guys can see the baby hairs did come out really nice you know what I'm saying on the side I'm feeling it you know I'm feeling it as you guys see it got me a little kind of like 
kind of retro type of curl in the front and my favorite hairspray I swear you guys you got to try this if you have not so let's continue on with this video let me know what you think of those baby hairs on the side okay I would yes. like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for cause when I look at you I feel something tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on And if I don't let you know, then I won't be for real I could be wrong, but I feel like something could be going on The more I see you, the more that it becomes so true There ain't no other for me, it's only you I want to be Guys, so as you guys can see, I'm done. I try to do something totally different. So I actually do like the way these baby hairs came out. I had to kind of like figure it out on my own because I'm like watching everybody do their baby hairs and their lace wigs. I'm like, hmm, that looks really nice, but how come it doesn't look like really glued down or gelled down? So I just gelled the very edges of them or the very root of them and just kind of like brushed them out. That's what I did. And I mean, like it looks very natural. Like you can't even see the lace, which is great. I'm like feeling that. I really do like the way it came out. The cap, the way I had to cut it made it fit a little bit better because like I said, I really don't like those ear tabs or anything like because they're just such a pain. But the hair is so bouncy, like it's very bouncy. Uh, um, but it is 16 inches and I did use, I think I used every not all i didn't use everything i did not use every bundle i didn't um i want to say i used like probably like there was probably like a quarter left of the weave it took me two and a half hours to make this like i was in a rush and i just sat there and made it and watched like this new show that um is kind of like um game of thrones to me somewhat it's called viking so it's not new but it's new to me because i never seen it before so it's got like a good few seasons so you know but um, I do like it. It's very bouncy. And like I said, I did have to, you know, just like adjust and customize the lace frontal because it was like a little bit too big and just a little bit too much up here. And it was like a little bit of hair in the front. So I just cut it away and just made it my own. Which So in case you guys want to know, did it shed? Of course it did. When I washed it, it did shed. It didn't shed a lot. It didn't tweeze anything but the hairline and like a little bit in there because it was like I tweezed a lot of hair out. So that might be what was shedding after I tweezed it out. Like I tweezed a lot of hair out, but which is cool. I didn't put any ball patches in. It still looked like it could still use a little bit more tweezing, but I think I did like a heck of a good job, especially around here because it was like more or less like the samurai soldiers or samurai wrestlers. It was very boxy and squared in the front. It was very, very thick in the front and very dense. So it was like, all right, time to sit down. I think it took me like an hour and a half to tweeze or maybe like, yeah, like a, a little bit over an hour because I was watching The Walking Dead. So like an hour and a half it took me to tweeze this but for the most part I do like it. it's very bouncy um, for 60 inches is really nice You know, this is like a nice amount of hair. It's nice and full and you know, it's average length a scale of 1 to 10 I would probably give them like an 8 only because I had to tweeze a lot But other than that like the quality is great. Um, the hair is nice and it's super affordable So, you know, you guys let me know what you think of this unit by fab wigs Um that I made and I will post all of their information in the box I'll link it down below for you guys and any other information that I may have so I love you guys I hope you enjoyed this video stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe. Subscribe, thumbs this video up, and I'll see you guys in a soon-to-come video.